Welcome back to more Lord of the Rings Online. Let's get straight into it. I'm going to keep doing some quests here. I am on the search for three horseshoes. There's one right there. Another one right there. This quest hub has been keeping me very busy. The quests don't seem that involved, but then you start doing them and you're kind of running around all over the place, staying very busy. Here's the last set. Gotta shoe all the horses by the stables, I'm assuming. All right, horsies. You're all getting new shoes. Shoed Brynmond. And I shoed flitting through the wall like a magician. And finally, I shoed Gesseth. Now, I am tempted to... Yeah, I'm not going to go turn in this quest. I'm going to go outside and do some other quests. I think specifically the Gathering Wool one. If I gather more sheep, I'm going to have to herd them back into town. So, I might as well go do that. And I think even before that, I, I'll probably come all the way over here. And do whatever quests I need to get done in there. I think that makes the most sense. Otherwise, I'm kind of running back and forth. You know, I'm going deep in town to turn this in. Then I go and grab the sheep and come back to town. And then I ride out again and come back to town. Not very efficient at all. We don't want that. I'm not a master, but I do my best to try and do this efficiently in a way that makes sense and saves time. We are going to have a very long ride ahead of us, though. You know what? I'm actually going to do the war steed for this. I haven't been on the war steed in a while just because it's frustrating, but I think this is an appropriate time for it. Gotta go all the way to the west end of the map. And I have not ridden through these parts yet. Maybe I should not be on the war steed because, as you can tell, I am clearly experiencing severe lag. Oh, God. All right. Don't do this to me, game. We are on such a good streak without lag. Yeah, I gotta go all the way. And those woods are super far away. That lady said go get some deer hides like it was just in the woods outside, but it's all the way on the other end of the map. And then there's another quest there as well here with the quest ring. So yeah, I'm just going to go all the way. All the way here, and then I can go south and start doing some stuff there. Almost there. Yeah, let me go straight for that quest ring. And then I'll venture down into the woods.
You have found the rival captain's camp. Oh, what I would give just to see the sun. That is the camp there, just as he told us it would be. You go and steal back his brooch. I will remain here, doing my best to keep my head attached to my shoulders. Alright, yeah, you hang out here and hide, and I go put my life at risk. Perfectly sensible. Alright, so the camp is in here. Obviously, I am over leveled here. Guess I have to check these chests. I searched that chest, doesn't look like I got what I needed. Thing. No quest rings above anybody. Man, that Warhound has armor on. It's pretty crazy. So I have found the stolen brooch. Let me get out of here. This is a fine predicament I've got myself into. Why, there it is. And you don't look terribly bruised or bloodied for all that. Things are going well for us so far, aren't they? Uh, it's how I know our luck must be about to turn. Oh, what I would give just to see the sun. We have both parts of the ransom now, so I suppose we must press on. To bar Nodron, Kippen. Though I have an ill feeling about this. Okay. So we'll continue that a little bit later for now. Let me head south. There's another quest ring in these woods. So I'm going to head towards it while I kill some deer along the way. Man, it is dark. And this guy has a quest ring above his head, so you know what that means. That means his life is about to end. Poor Lothbar. Or Loft Bear. Aggressive Loft Bears have been spotted in the Furian Woods, and some have even ventured towards Gondorian settlements. These beasts should be dealt with for the safety of those who dwell near the Furian Wood. So did these does count? They do count for the hides. Let's start killing some of them. No, so annoying. Let's keep going. Trying to change the trajectory here to the southwest. Don't need to worry about the boars. Man, these, these guys have an impressive overbite. Look at that. Pretty funny. Okay, let me keep going. How many of these do I have to kill? Ten? It's a lot. There's a buck. Another one. At least things are pretty well concentrated here.
keep making my way south towards that quest rink. Halfway there with these. And I need one more of those. Alright, so that quest ring is a little to the west. I need to climb. Looks like it's probably up there in those ruins, so let me climb these stairs here. I don't know what it, what's actually up there. It's just marked on the map, so... We'll see. You found a tomb. It is swarming with looters. Okay, so now what? Defeat tomb robbers. I need to defeat eight of these. Do these all count? Yeah, they do. Let me gather everybody here. Gather everybody at once. Freaking archers. And one of the guys is running away. Guys are such cowards. They all just run away. Oh, he dodged that. Did you guys see that? He dodged that like a ninja. Wow. Messed up the gambit there. Alright, I need three more. Let me get this guy. Two more. So I have to climb up a little more to that next tier in order to get the last few, rather than waiting for respawns. Maybe. Are there even any up here? Virtue cap reached. Need to change that. Let's see. Let me do determination. Okay, that's good enough for now. There are no tomb robbers up here on the beacon. So I do have to wait for respawns, whether I like it or not. It's the only way. That's one small thing that kind of bothers me about the game sometimes, is sometimes you have a quest to kill a specific type of enemy, and the only place to kill them, they'll have... You know, like five out of eight or something. And you can't run around and look for more. You can only kill them in one place. And there's not enough spawns to complete the quest. So you have to sit there waiting for respawns. That's kind of frustrating. It's like instead of putting five guys here, put eight of them. You know? Thankfully, the respawns did not take too long, though. Okay, that's all of them. So it looks like I am ready to get out of these woods. Just gonna kill some more loft bears and get one more leather before I get out of here. But I'll start making my way back. Did 
That deer cannot count. here that is seven out of ten that should be the last deer I need here very good three more loth bears Happen with my gambit there. I thought I hit it, but maybe I pressed my buttons a little too fast, like I usually do. Okay, so we're done with that. You have defeated many loft bears in Beacon Hills. So now let me make my way over here, I guess. I can herd the sheep back into town. Now we have ridden this path before, and we have been doing a lot of riding this episode, so I will fast forward this one a little bit. What happened? What happened? What is this? Oh no, is this like lag or did I... Oh, am I stuck? Okay. What is going on? Okay, we're safe, we're safe. We, we made it through whatever that was, whatever sorcery of Saruman. Let's keep going. Okay. Well, have I a choice? No. Then Look at I that. Go. This jarl could certainly take Osrimen. I wonder if he knows it. Now I have been pondering what Lady Glenhar said about caution. Call me coward and cuff me on the ear, but I would scout around the edges of the camp and see what may be seen if I were you. As for myself, this is as close as I have the courage to go. So, what am I doing? I am exploring the perimeter of the camp. In short time, the Varyogs have erected palisades and watchtowers. Wow, what a camp. So these guys do have quest rings. A large force of Aryogs have sacked and made up camp in the hamlet of Bar Nadron in the Beacon Hills. Reducing their numbers will throw them into disarray and safeguard nearby Osrimen from assault. Need to kill 12 of these bad boys. Go to, to the archer here. Ah, there are two archers. Dang it. Thought I was being clever. Get three at once here, that'll be good. Let's 
Stop running. It's so annoying. All right, I need two more. Let me grab these two here. You have defeated many Variogs in Bar Nadron in the Beacon Hills. Very good. Next, I am still exploring each entrance to the camp. Let me see if I can get on the perimeter here. This looks like an entrance. That did not trigger anything, okay. Oh, because that's the one I came in from. That makes sense, alright. Don't be foolish now. No, I can't jump over that. That's sad. And I can't go through that gap. That's even sadder. Okay, there's an entrance. The sheer number of arrows and corpses tell a tale of capture of brutal force. The very odd camp is fully manned and armed and well guarded. Arnadron has been burnt and no doubt pillaged ruthlessly. The manor of Barnadron looms above, ruined, the cellar likely beneath. Now what? Okay, now I gotta talk to my little friend out here. The coward. You know what? At least he admits it. A lot of these other NPCs, they'll... Try to act brave and then send you to do their bidding anyway. This guy at least admits it, so I gotta respect it to some degree. No good will come of this. I know it. You recount all that you saw to Gondrod and his face slowly twists into a frown. I see two reasons to be perfectly miserable, Kippen. First and foremost is that these men are truly as numerous, ruthless, and fell as we have feared. And secondly, you have found no better reason to turn back and go home without completing the deal. No good will come of this. I know it. So go we must. And by we, let me make it clear that I mean you. I'll wait here. And you are to whistle twice if you need me. I'm only being cautious as I bade. Alright, let me go to the cellar here. No, it's the same spot I got stuck in last time. Okay, let's go. Deliver the ransom and bring home my sons. Yet tread cautiously and keep your wits about you. We know not if these Variog men have any honor at all. You see Akis and some of his men ahead waiting for you. Come, come. We have been waiting for you. Don't even think of trying anything. Do as the Jarl asks and everyone will be fine. Why are you bothering me? You have the gold and the brooch I asked of you? Toot toot. I can see it well enough from there. We will do this after the very odd fashion. Now you will go and see that the two brothers are safe and well. I have only the two. Trust me, if I had the father, 
and the other two, you would need tenfold the ransom that you have brought. Now go, you will find them to the right, that way beyond the gate. Is he gonna like lock me in there with them? The prisoners are all the way on the back, on the right. You can talk to the prisoners, look them over, nothing else. Dark skies and worrying times. So our ransom will be paid finally? Good, listen to me, these are dangerous men, but have come to believe that they do have their own kind of black guard's honor. If you do as they ask, they truly will set us free. If you do ought to alarm them, they will respond swiftly and ruthlessly. You must not listen to my brother's hot-headed prattling. Let us part with our gold and take our lives with us where we go. They are likely to send us out one at a time. We must have an agreed upon place to meet. Hmm, Issa Barnadron under the bent tree by the mount of the Entwash would do. Yes, let us find each other there. I for one will not give up hope. Listen, his voice drops to whisper. Are we really to give these honorless men ransom gold for their villainy? You look a capable fighter, let us instead create a distraction. I have managed to get a small blade in my hands here. When I hear a commotion, I will cut the bond and we will make for the door. Then we shall meet up whatever place my brother chooses. Will you do it? Say you will. So it looks like I am probably going to have to make a choice here in this quest. Mother sent you. Why? What is it? Did you heed my words? Create a distraction and we shall cut our bonds and fly. And they will have no single ransom coin for their big brigandry. Well, what is it then? If you honor the agreement, so shall they. The very Ogs have this much sense of honesty at any rate. I hope I shall see you east of Bar Nadron, under the bent tree by the mouth of the Entwash Kippen. What is this world coming to? Are you satisfied? Good. Then place the ransom in the chest there, and all shall be arranged. You will leave first, and the brothers will be sent out separately after you. This is how it is done. No trickery, I give you my word. Alright, so I can create a distraction or pay the ransom. Interesting, I have a choice to make here. It seems like we are overpowered. This camp is very ruthless and strong. I'm inclined to pay the ransom. But earlier in an episode, I did say we should not negotiate with terrorists. So I might create a distraction. I don't know. So, okay, this is what we're going to do. My gut says create a distraction, but I am going to look this up just in case it changes quests later on. Because this is a 100% playthrough, so I don't want to lock myself out of anything in case the decision changes anything. However, if it doesn't really affect anything in a grand scheme of things, I will choose to create a distraction. It should be more exciting anyway. So give me just one second. Okay, so from my little research, we can actually do both of these things. So what I can do is I can pick one of the options, do it, and before I turn in the quest, I can abandon the quest, pick it up again, and do the alternate end. So that's what we're going to do since I am a completionist. So first, I'm going to do the ransom, and then before I turn in the quest, I'll abandon it, come back, and we'll do the distraction and then complete it from there. So here we go. Let's pay the ransom. You have done your part. Now leave, and the brothers shall be sent after you, I promise. Excellent. So I completed the instance. So let me go get the quest dialogue here for this. Yeah, so treating with Scoundrel. So if I abandon this quest, then I can redo the instance. But first, let me see what the ending quest dialogue will be for doing it this way. And then we're going to do a little bit of smooth editing. Good times. I keep getting stuck in that little corner, man. I keep wanting to go that way. This is a fine predicament I've got myself into. Gondrod's eyes go wide as you relay all that took place. It is well that you went in and not I, at any rate. I would have made a mess of things, as I always seem to. So I think now I have to cancel this quest. 
Because I, if I hit finish now, then I don't think I can do the other one. So this this feels weird for me to do this, but we're gonna do it. We're gonna cancel. There you go. Oh, is there a cooldown on this? Five minutes. All right, I'll see you in about five minutes. We'll do some editing. Okay, so I'm back here where I have the decision to make to pay the ransom or to create a distraction. Now, by the way, you get a title depending on which option you choose, but if you do what I'm doing where you cancel the quest before you complete it, you can actually get both titles. So that's something to keep in mind as well if you're playing this. So now let me go ahead and create a distraction and see what happens. The Brazier post falls over with a crash. Two face fool. Now you get nothing but death. And do a surety of death here. Let me get a healing gambit just in case. There you go. Kill them all. And yeah, you see you get a title. Very good. The Reckless. Let me do newest first. Yeah, so the Cautious is the one you get if you pay the ransom. And then you get the Reckless if you create the distraction. Very cool. And these guys don't really care. They won't say anything else. Alright, very good. Let's go ahead and get out of here. And now I will actually turn in the quest. What? That's weird. Oh, do I have to kill everybody first before I get out of here? Or maybe it was just a little bit of lag. It says you cannot use that. You won't get out of here alive. Okay, I guess I do have to keep fighting. Yeah, it's not a lag thing because it literally says you, you cannot use that. So I guess I just had to fight more people. No. Wow, this is odd. What? Slain! Seven stars! We must flee! Mother sent you? Oh no! Did the brothers get slain? Oh no. Maybe they get slain regardless of what outcome you picked. Anyway, let me go turn this in. Yeah, because it looked like he got killed there. So I think since it doesn't affect future storylines, what must happen is if you pay the ransom, you still get betrayed. That's what it's seeming like, unfortunately. Gondrad's eyes go wide as you relay what all that took place. It is well that you went in or not. I, at any rate, I would have made a mess of things as I always seem to. So that's the same text. No good will come of this. I know it. So we are to meet beneath a bent tree near the mount of the Entwash. Let us go and not linger here one worrisome moment longer. All right. So I will go to the meeting location, but I will do so in the next episode. Now, if you appreciate the fact that I did a little bit of editing to show you both outcomes here. I think that deserves a like on the video, right? So go ahead and leave a like. I definitely appreciate it. It helps to bring this out to more people. And what I would appreciate even more beyond that is if that you're not already subscribed to the channel, I invite you to join the fellowship. Join this community that we're building together. Hit the subscribe button. I really do appreciate it. I've been doing this for almost 10 years. My channel, that is. And... I've yet to hit 5,000 subscribers. I'm trying to reach that milestone. Very small and humble channel, but everybody who's here is an integral part of the channel. And so I really appreciate all of you. Thanks again for watching. See you next time.
Thanks for stopping by the Renaissance Gaming Monastery. I hope you join our community on Discord and Twitter. These videos are produced with a lot of hard work and love. If you think they're worth a dollar, I'd be grateful for your contribution. You can send a thanks donation or become a member on YouTube. You can also support through PayPal, Patreon, or even with cryptocurrency. All links are in the description. See you on the next video.